Trey, for those of us that have known you a long time from back in Michigan, how big was it to not just get this win but against Michigan State? Uh, you know, they, these are one of the tougher teams in our league. And, you know, just to come out and get a win like that, you know, it means a lot for me, but also, uh, most importantly for our team. Uh, it's a tone setter uh, for, for here on out. So. For no general, uh, they had it down to 12, I think, inside 10 minutes. Can you just speak to the effort that you guys showed thereafter to kind of close it out? Um, you know, we just we just had to fight. Um, Michigan State, they're going to fight you the whole entire 40 minutes, no matter down or up. Um, so we just had to just persevere. Um, you know, just you know, just come out with a fight. No matter if we missed shots, no matter if they made tough shots, we just had to come out and that's battle, man. That's the um, approach that we took. Evan, why was this your night? Um, you know, I just think that, you know, when you play a team like Michigan State who's so physical and, and they play with such effort that um, you, know, you got to get a bunch of guys in there to kind of deal with that. And, um, you know, for me, luckily, shots went down tonight. But, um, you know, we're looking to build off this as a team and, you know, move forward. Just the sequence in the second half, taking the charges and then drawing the foul on Tillman. It was more than just hitting threes tonight for you, wasn't it? Yeah, for sure. Um, and we talked about it all week, how uh, we have to play with more effort and more energy than them. Um, and so charges, uh, getting them to, to get in foul trouble, I think it was big for them, um, or big for us because they weren't, you know, able to get into rhythm. It's for all three, of you, any of the three of you guys. Uh, a year ago, you guys went up 23. We came back, cut it to four before you guys won here. How much did you guys talk about that when, when you had the big lead, and then also when they started to chip away a little bit? Um, we, you know, we tried, we kind of hounded on it, you know, when we got in the locker room at halftime. Uh, we, we knew they weren't going to give up. Um, like you said, this happened last year, and you know they brought it back. Um, and not just this game, like even starting out with, we had Marquette, we had him down 18 points. So like we've been in this position before, and we know like, how people so easy to come back and stuff like that. So we just had to, um, you know, take advantage of our opportunity and uh, keep the energy flowing. Trey, you had quite a bit of weight on your defender. How important was that size advantage for you tonight? Uh, definitely important. Um, you know, they were taller defenders, um, so I just had to use my body uh, to, you know, kind of create space and, you know, get to my hook. So. No, Joe, you guys obviously turned over the catches nine times, 18 as a team. It's basically, what did you do so well collectively on him and basically and defensively as a whole? What was kind of the game plan and what worked? Um, we just tried to build walls. Um, he turned over nine times? Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's just rare. You, you would never think that from the ground. But, uh, you know, we just collectively, you know, just had to build walls. Uh, we know the type of player he is, uh, you know, what he's capable of, and we just had to have a team effort uh, while still having our principles. Um, you know, obviously, we know he can shoot, but we still got to help our uh, teammate just in case he gets beat, so maybe he could knock down a shooter. Um, but we just helped each other. Uh, if one of our men got beat, another teammate helped, kicked out, another teammate helped, and we just, uh, you know, just stay with each other and just uh, help each other's back. For Evan, uh, I think it was four and a half minutes ago, you guys are up 24, you're diving on a loose ball, you create the turnover that goes, uh, I think Eric takes for the layup. Just, you know, is that kind of reflective of just the effort that was required to put them away because you know they're not going to go away, or is that just kind of how you kind of approach this whole game, all of you, I mean? I think it's definitely the effort that you kind of need, and it's not, you know, Michigan State obviously is one of the hardest playing teams in the country, um, but, you know, that's what we want to be as a team. Um, we want to be the hardest playing team in the country, and I think you saw it all night. Uh, it wasn't just me; it was everybody diving on the ball, um, grabbing the 50-50s, and I think that ultimately wound up being um, a huge uh, factor. I think a lot of your shots seem to come at a, almost a perfect moment a lot of the times. How are you able to just put yourself in the position to make those big plays when you did? Yeah, I think um, you know they did a, a, a lot of helping with their bigs, and um, you know that <coughs> left me open a bunch for for different shots. So. We were able to kind of move them around a little bit, and, and when we set good screens and, and executed our plays, uh, we got the looks we wanted. So luckily, we were able to do that most of the night, and you know, it worked out. Uh, Trey Beyond, uh, no GL, or Evan, any you want to talk about? Uh, I thought you guys were patiently aggressive tonight. Is this something that you were kind of sit on? Because sometimes, you know, teams get Harry Helter Skelter. Something you guys were working on, you've seen a weakness in Michigan State, and you guys worked at that? Um, you know, we just. Uh, we talked about it, and we said we have to just be patient and aggressive. That's one of Coach's main, t uh, you know, points that he says before each and every game. Uh, we have to be patiently aggressive. Uh, we pushed the ball. Uh, if we didn't have it, we didn't force it. Uh, I felt like we did a, a really good job of moving offensively to the, uh, this game. Um, you know, I just said I seen different players in front of me. Like I was 
Top screen up, braids. And it just was like, it, just, it was just good execution, good movement. No, nobody just stood, nobody watched. Um, so I just felt like we, when we do that, get the ball to the other side two or three times, um, it just opened up so much for each and every player because we have the capability of uh, hitting shots, getting to the rim, getting to the line. And uh, I feel like we did a good job with that today. For any or all of all you guys, I mean, just, what does this just say for how far you guys have come in the week? Obviously, last Sunday you're in Illinois scoring 37 points, and here you are building these guys out. Just what does it just say for how much you guys, how you responded, you know, how you grew up in the span of the week, and, and what this says about this team? Uh, I mean, I'll, be, I'll go. I, I just think it, it says that you know we're not going to quit. You know, um, you know we're ten and seven, but uh, we don't feel like uh, we should be. You know, we feel like we have a lot more fight. We feel like um, you know the rest of the season we have a chance to, to turn it around. So we're looking forward to every game as a, a dogfight, and um, you know I think we're just excited to, to kind of move on and go to the next one. Now. You say dogfight every Big Ten road game. This is it for every <coughs> team in the league has been a dogfight. What does it say about you guys able to have ranked teams come in here and get the job done at home, but it's kind of spreading out across the entire conference? Yeah, I mean, every night, you know, there's no nights off in the Big Ten, especially this year. Um, I think early on, um, you know, every team can beat every team on any night. So for us, uh, we can't take anybody lightly and we got to treat everybody. Um, you know, like they're a top five team in the country. So uh, I think we did a good job of preparing tonight and we got to get a good week of practice and be ready for Maryland. Is there anything else? Yeah. Right uh, you know, you talk about building that wall on Cassius and you guys are throwing true double teams, I think, I think. At, at certain times, um, what was so effective about your off the ball defense to not allow him to kind of use those double teams against you guys? Um, we uh, we we didn't really double them. Uh, we just had uh, high hedges with the bigs, okay. um, and we just tried to bottle them up, tried to get the ball out of his hands. Um, you know, uh, and with that, you know, obviously we got to have help. No matter if they we got a game to <laughs> shoot, um, you know, we got to still still live with our principles. We we are like vulnerable when they get to the paint, and then they kick out, get layups. We would rather him them have we have closeouts, um, you know, uh, tough contested pull-ups and stuff like that. So we just stay with our principles, helping even if the uh, guy was a shooter, and we just continue to do that all night. No, Joe, I'm crazy. I'm just the lift that Evan gave you the spark. Just what did you see out of him tonight? Uh, just starting on defense. You know, he started getting after it. You have about what three offensive. Fouls in a row. Um, that was big for us. I think that was a tone setter for the second half. Um, and then, you know, guys start hitting shots and the energy, the crowd got into it. It was just, it was amazing. And like I said, this is a tone setter for us, you know, from here on out. So I just feel like it just shows that uh, we are capable uh, from whoever plays, comes off the bench, that everybody can perform. Um, no matter if they have a bad night, no matter if you haven't been consistent throughout the season, um, it just shows that uh, no matter what, we're going to persevere as a team and we're just going to battle. No matter, we're going to continue just to push each other, continue to be uh, within each other, no matter if we lose or win. Just know we got to fight. And it just shows that, um, you know, anybody on any given night can, can step up and have the ability to be able to help a team win a game. Um, obviously, it was a team effort, but it was certain pieces that, uh, throughout this game, that just had a spark and gave us that energy, and I feel like you did a good job tonight. Anything else, anyone?